The renowned agrochemical company Bayer Crop Science is in news of late based on its share price movement on the possibility of a V-shaped recovery. While the share price of Bayer Crop Science showed volatility and moved to a low of 4604 in the month of November, showing a fall of almost 11% to its opening value, and equally surprising was the firm sharp recovery of almost 250 rupees which happened between end of November and December and market is quite confident that this sharp recovery might prove to be a V-shaped recovery for buyer crop signs taking the price ahead with a bullish momentum. The recovery was quite uh, evident on the daily chart with a crossover happening across the two short term averages of 20 EMA and 50 EMA. Along with the price moved the RSI having an upward trajectory but remaining far below the overbought zone. Optimism was also evident in MACD wherein after crossing its signal line it started moving up very firmly moving in the direction of price OBV gave an indication of continuation of trend. There was further reconfirmation with a growing patch of greenness and increasing size of the candles with upward movement signifying an uptrend by the Hekinishi candles. The chart on Fibonacci retracement also is quite suggestive. At 23.6% of 4893, the share is looking for a firm price movement crossing across the threshold to reconfirm the commencement of a strong bullish movement ahead. I am Vithal Prabhu bringing you the weekly video on Stock Learning Simplified. Hope you will find the video effective and useful. Fire, a reputed company into agriculture and healthcare, operating in over 83 countries with headquarters in Germany. In India, it completes 125 years of operations with the 2021 and that is the great news. Buyer's shareholding pattern very impressive and solid with the buyer group 71.4%. FII's mutual funds and institutions holding around 15% plus and general public and others 13.3%. Core business of buyer is agri-care. It has got four business divisions with seeds wherein it deals with both the corn seeds and hybrid seeds using breeding techniques and research in biotechnology, covers rice, corn, cotton, mustard and millet. Crop protection or agrochemicals is the second division for pest management chemically and biologically, deals with the insecticides, fungicides and herbicides. Under the digital farming, it enters into a partnership with the farmers on selling a crop system on real-time assessment of growing conditions and crop health. And the fourth one is environmental science, which is pure professional pest management, like uh, usage of rodenticides, insect control items, and termiticides. Of all the four divisions, crop protection is the major source of revenue and profitability, followed by seeds. Bayer focuses on both the organic and inorganic growth. When it comes to inorganic growth, its acquisition of Monsanto, the American giant, is quite remarkable. It acquired at the global level and in India, the integration took place in 2018 and Monsanto's strength in chemicals and hybrid seeds gels well with the, the product line of Bayer and that is where they have a strong synergy both in distribution and product portfolio. With all the positivity, the company found its September quarter performance quite disappointing as in comparison to September of last three years, the revenue went nowhere except sideways and that was not expected for a company boasting of growth. And added to that was the fall in EBITDA percentage substantial at that EBITDA percentage which was ranging between 19 and 21 for the last three years 
came down to 16% a fall of 5% for various reasons including the unseasonal monsoon and the reduced corn portfolio ebitda contraction was also led by material and logistics inflation which could not be passed on and in the meanwhile company had repositioned certain products to get additional market share that cost it in terms of price realization but what came to the rescue was a good performance from the agrochemical division of crop protection and that was the face saver and in the meanwhile company also could pass on a part of the cost inflation in terms of price revisions taking four quarters together on a trailing 12 months basis there was good news in respect of revenue as the revenue grew from 3900 crores to 4400 crores showing a growth of almost 13% but the unfortunate thing was this growth was not reflected by npat which remained subdued at 425 crores as against 646 and the fall was almost 7% from 16.5 to 9.6% and a corresponding fall was also observed in ebitda percentage and that was quite a challenging situation for the company the basket of cash flow is a collection of strains volatile operating cash flow working capital has been a pain in the recent 18 months dividend disproportionate and high surplus turned into negative in the latest 6 months fixed assets remained nominal and the company went for a buyback in 2016 with 500 crores plus and a 400 crore worth acquisition of monsanto in 2019 recent increase in the working capital gap of 647 crores and the special dividend of 125 years at 125 per share 516 crores was a burden on the financial health of the company somehow the dividend policy although permitted payment of what the company paid the outflow was a bit disproportionate to the profitability of the company as we will see in march 2020 the dividend paid was almost 109% of the annual profit similarly the dividend which has been disbursed in the latest year as compared to the estimate of profitability is quite high and even on a seven year basis it comes to almost 61% of profits the market cap calculation of buyer is a collection of contrasts the overall market cap ranges between 21500 and 24000 and for a pat of 425 crores and the resulting price of 4800 the pe works out to around 50 which is almost double the agrochemicals index pe of uh, 25 and even the market cap growth of 12.4% over 5 year basis is far in excess of the growth in revenue and profit which has been confined to around 9% on a 5 year cagr basis the overall impression about the trading quantity and closing price for the last 3 months in respect of buyer has remained quite positive marked by marginal fall in the share price over the period of 3 months as compared to the moving averages similarly in terms of quantity the period ending quantities have been substantially higher than the moving average for the period showing a growth of almost 12% the price action data for the same period in respect of order size and delivery percentage comes out with a positive conclusion that there is a lot of investor interest as the delivery percentage suggesting physical delivery going up by almost 21% and the order size growing up by 14% which augurs well for a company whose share price is on the verge of breakout another trend which is available for the price action data 
is the higher delivery percentage with big sized orders during the period of three months. If we take the data where the price was rising and take the high quantities on 2nd December, the quantity was 80,000, delivery was 73,000, 92% delivery. Similarly, on 16th December, the quantity is 40,000, whereas the delivery percentage is 93. And taking the latest one, 22nd December, quantity is 26,000, delivery is almost 22,000, suggesting 85%. Increase in delivery always adds to the strength of the share in market movements. All indications in respect of buyer crop signs pointing towards a firm V-shape recovery in the near future, a global company strong in terms of finance and technical parameters, market strength with leadership in agrochemicals and seeds. Growth wise, both organic and inorganic, Monsanto has been a great acquisition. Cash flow is strained and more due to dividend and working capital bulge. PE remains high, but there is investment interest. Bayer has remained a company with product edge, growing market share and diversified well. Hope you found the video quite useful. You can access similar informative and rich content oriented videos at InfoCard on Stock Learning Simplified. We look forward to your likes, shares and comment. If you are visiting the channel for the first time, may please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for timely intimation on our forthcoming videos. Thank you so much for your time, support and interest. This video is for purposes of information, education and awareness only. This is not meant to be a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell or hold securities. Based on your requirement, may please seek the advice of a competent professional before taking any action.